Ooh, you guys, it's so freaking hot. I can't even put on the AC because I don't need that kind of sound right now. I need this place to be quiet. You get me? <laughs> so yes, our pin has arrived. When you put your arms around me, I get a fever that's so hard to bang. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. If this is your first time here, hello, I'm Olifre Carl and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber who is currently living in Lagos, Nigeria and you are most definitely welcome. So guys, today I'm going to be doing something totally different. But first of all, I'm going to be sharing this good news with you guys. I'm sure you guys already know from the thumbnail or the title. You guys, I got my P. Yo! Who could have thought that? Like, you guys, this is my first attempt. I'm so shook. And this thing got to Nigeria. It actually arrived um, 1st January, but I got it last week on the 8th. That's like a week after. And this thing was generated on the 18th. When it gets generated, I think they send it out after five working days or something. So let's just say they sent it to me 20 something of December. So it took barely it was not even up to a month, I think it was just two weeks and I'm really really surprised that I actually got it I was actually doubting at first that that's why I come to doubt I was actually doubting at first that it was going to be there I was just like, okay, let me just it was just a casual day I went to the cinema to watch a movie and I was like, okay, this thing is up to two weeks let me just go and check if it's going to be in the post office if it's not there um, I'll just leave my details behind so that they can call me because I watched Mira, Mira, Mira's world Mira, Mira's video on how she got her pain and i was in communication with her so she told me how her has worked and everything so i was just like if it does not come if it's not like there if they check and it's not there i'm just going to leave my details and all that oh my god you guys i just finished the movie it was so interesting super super interesting yo so I'm thinking of going to the post office from here and um, I think that's what I'm going to do because if I go back to that house, I won't feel like coming up again so I'm going to pick up and go to the post office and then check if my mail is there and then go back home so yeah so yeah, I'm going to be heading to the post office now God, you guys, I just pray my mail is there so that because this stuff is like most lifetime thing and if I'm going to see the mail, oh my god, I'll be so glad because then I'll be able to like expect my payment and stuff. And by the way, I didn't even know you could use a regular account because I use my domiciliary, but I think I'm going to just leave it like that. I'm trying to find my cab. I think I've seen him. So I'm going to see you guys when I get to the post office. So, you guys. I'm just excited that it's here. I've not been paid. Um, I've not received my payment yet, but hopefully that's gonna happen by the end of this month. Because I do have up to you have to have up to hundred dollars before you to get paid. So yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sure you guys already know the deets from all the videos around Mira's video. Everyone talking about how to get monetized and all that but if you guys want to go into details let me know in the comments below um yeah that's what i'm about to talk about in this video i just like to share the new, share the good news with you guys i'm really really grateful because without you guys this would not have been possible so i'm really really excited and really really thankful and grateful that you guys have been supporting me so far so yeah let's get straight into the main video of the day okay <laughs> this heat is too much jesus so guys, in this video, I'm actually going to be doing something totally different. I'm going to be doing something finance related, money related. So yeah, I'm taking a different route in this video. So stay tuned. As a college graduate, I feel like I'm in a very good position um, to be able to give advice to every undergraduate out there, um, high schooler even, and all that. Because a lot of youths, of, a lot of youths these days, find it hard to save money even though there are so many schemes of um, schemes and just so many motivational videos and just things that enable you to think twice before you spend all your money a lot of people go ahead to squander all their money within a month so I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys tips that I learned things that I practiced along the way and things that really helped me manage my money better while in school and even till now I still practice all those things so 
stay tuned if you're interested in that. First things first, you have to actually know your budget. You have to know what you're budgeting for food, what you're budgeting for pleasure, like, okay, I need to go to um, the cinema. If you have cinemas around you, I need to take myself out maybe once a week, maybe on Sundays, I'll go eat out with friends. You have to know what you're budgeting every month because it actually helps and it keeps you in check when you're trying to overspend more than you have budgeted for, if that makes sense. Another thing I discovered that a lot of people know but don't really practice is cooking. You guys, cooking will save you tons of money. I mean, I knew this, but the fact that I didn't like cooking, I kept buying food. I kept eating out. Even though I ate out a lot, I still knew how to manage money because there are things that take your money, like shopping and all those things. I didn't like shop extravagantly. I shopped for things that were needful, things that were useful, things that were necessary. So that made me also be able to curtail my spending. But when it comes to food, oh my God. When it comes to food, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't hold back, okay? If I want to eat that thing, I will eat it. If you know me by now, you know that I love food. So I always like went out with friends, ate out and all of that. And when I figured out that this thing was on this lifestyle of eating out wasn't like, it wasn't worth it. Like, even if, no matter how much you love to eat out, try and discipline yourself. Because at the end of the day, you see that most times all this food we eat out is not as nutritious, not as healthy as home cooked meals. So try and make your food yourself because you're actually saving yourself tons of money. You're giving yourself better diets. Just there are, there are just lots of things to gain from cooking for yourself. And it also saves you tons of money. That's something you should also consider because eating out will drain your pockets. Another thing I realized is that a lot of people are suffering from peer pressure. A lot of people go ahead spending the money they don't have. They'll spend money just because they see their friends spending money. When you're in a clique of friends and they are going shopping and all that, you know, you know very well that you don't need that shit. You know very well. And you can never have too many clothes. Trust me. For me, I believe you can have too many clothes. There are moments where you keep buying, 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 shopping, 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 and you end up not wearing half of them clothes so what's the point of buying more and more so i feel like less is more in some cases you know that this shirt is not necessary for you you have a lot of white shirts you have a lot of black shirts you have a lot of colored shirts you have floral shirts you have different things and you have you need to save money for something more more need for something that's more necessary than that shirt because you see your friends buying it you now go and buy it later you now come and borrow money from them because you have spent your money on useless things that's that's just it. So a lot of people are suffering from peer, peer pressure. You need to be able to draw the line. You need to know when you want to spend money. Even if they're telling you, ah, this thing looks good on you, you should buy it. If you know that if you buy this thing, it's going to drain your pocket. If you buy this thing, that it is more than your budget. That's why budgeting is also very good. You tell them, oh, it's not in my budget. Just say it politely, like it's not fight. Tell them it's not in my budget. Or better still, do not go with them to such places if you know that you can't hold yourself, you can't discipline yourself and not bring out money to buy something. It's just, it's just straightforward because all these things will also make you spend money unnecessarily. So just always try and stand your ground even when your friends are pressuring you to buy something. You see them using new iPhones, the latest iPhone, the latest things and you want to buy it when you know you can't afford it. Just do not fall into that trap of peer pressure because it's going to ruin your financial life another thing that actually helps me is having multiple accounts having just one account will, will just end up making you spend way more than necessary because you don't have another place and even if you say let you withdraw it and maybe hide it somewhere trust me even those piggy banks those boxes i never actually had those things but those boxes there are situations where you end up breaking that box there are people that are not that disciplined the best thing for you is even having a spare account, I mean, if you're not a disciplined person, you still end up going into the bank to withdraw. <laughs> but just have multiple accounts. Try and split your money, break your money in three places. Maybe if you have three accounts, spread it across and just have one card to one account. Just have just one card. Seriously, like you don't need more than one card. Have one card because then your spending is going to be limited. And make sure that whenever you get your monthly allowance, split it do not just put it in one account because at the end of the day even if you say oh i'm not going to spend more than 20k this month or i'm not going to spend more than 50k this month you end up spending 100k in a month so don't even 
Don't even try to tempt yourself. Break it, try to spread it across and um, try to at least make a conscious effort to manage the one you have in your main account before trying to touch your savings account. So yeah, that's that's basically um, that's basically what I would like to um, share with you guys today. Uh, I'm sure this video is going to help one person, one or two persons. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If there are other ways you save money, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know because, man, we gotta save, okay? Let me know in the comments below. Try to share your tips, what you think is the best way to, to be able to save more money if you're in college or just in any walk of life. Um, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.